Hey beauties, we are doing a cook with me. I am making some meatloaf, homemade mashed potatoes, and some roasted veggies. I thought it would be fun to kind of just bring you guys along for a cook with me and cook dinner with me, make a full meal. I think a meal that your guys' kids would love. Right now I don't have the kids, I'm waiting for them to get dropped off so I'm able to make dinner in peace. I'm about to pour me a drink, I'm gonna make me a mimosa and cook dinner so when they come home dinner will be ready and then we can have dinner together if you guys are tuning in for the first time please hit that subscribe button join my family here i share lots of videos between cooking motherhood cleaning diy makeovers i share everything i just like to share real life and bring you guys along to just get you motivated in all aspects of being a mother and a woman so we're gonna dive right in and just get started on dinner. I think this video is gonna be more of a vlog style too since it's quiet, I don't have the kids in the background. I think I'm gonna like kinda just make it feel like you guys are really in the kitchen making dinner with me. Excuse the way I look, I just got off of work not too long ago, so I'm tired and this is what you get, this is what you get. All right you guys, so I got my veggies laid out. I already cut up some carrots. I feel like some of them are a little too thick but they're gonna be roasted and then I got some fresh green beans I already snapped the ends I washed both of my veggies and then I got my water boiling for my potatoes so I'm gonna start peeling my potatoes we're gonna pop the veggies in now I believe and then we're gonna start working on the meatloaf before we start dinner though mama needs to make a drink it is a Tuesday night this is Thanksgiving week when I'm filming this so it's been a long like week. I know like everybody probably is feeling really stressed out with the holidays and COVID and just trying to figure out what's the best thing to do for the holidays. Um, you guys know I work in healthcare. So I've had a, a pretty stressful job since March. <laughs> I mean, I love my job. I love what I do, but you guys gotta admit COVID's kinda screwed a lot of us, <laughs> but with, that being said, it puts on a lot of extra stuff, especially with new rules and regulations. Rules are changing by the state every day, it seems like. So I'm just, I'm wore out, I'm beat. I do have a four day weekend that I am very excited for. So tonight, I don't have the kids. I get to make dinner in peace. Mama's gonna pour her a drink. So we're gonna make this mimosa and then we're gonna start cooking. This champagne is from Aldi. It is really good. It is $5. I haven't shopped at Aldi or ever drunk their wine, ever. I used to work there years ago when I was pregnant with Tank, but obviously I was pregnant, I wasn't drinking wine. But me and my friend have been going there and I've been trying out their different wines. So I'm gonna make me my mimosa with this champagne. And then I'm gonna show you guys this other cool wine that I got. I actually have two of the flavors. FYI, I am not an alcoholic, <laughs> but you guys know I love wine. Uh, I got this peach wine. I've had this a couple times. It is the bomb, you guys. It is so good and it's strong. So if you don't want to get drunk, but you just need like a little buzz to like take the edges, the, the roughness off your edges, drink one glass of this and you will be relaxed and you will feel great. So with that being said, when I was there last night, I seen that they had another Pineapple. I'm really excited to try this one out. I will let you guys know what I think of this, but this peach one, run to your nearest Aldi, go buy it. I'll let you know how, what I think of this one. You guys see the way that that cap popped off i'm not gonna lie i've never opened a bottle of champagne in my life there's like whole warning directions on the cap i did not expect it to pop the way that it did so we're gonna we're gonna test taste we're gonna see if i got this strong enough or too strong just right
Mama cooking solo didn't last long, did it? Saying, nope, mama. My babies are home. All right, now it's about to get real loud up in here, you guys. <laughs> you got mommy cook? Yeah? 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 Okay. Mwah. All right, you guys, I got my fresh ground beef. Now, this is actually from a butcher, my mom's boyfriend. He, like, goes and, like, pays to get, like, a whole cow in there. So, this is, like, real good fresh meat. Sorry if you guys are vegan or if you don't eat meat. <laughs> Might want to click out of this video. <laughs> but we're going to season this bad boy up. I'm going to show you guys the seasonings that I use for my meatloaf. All right, I like to use some of this Mrs. Dash. The garlic herb. We're gonna use some basil, some garlic salt, and then I've been loving this Kinder's wood fired wood fired garlic, and a little bit of seasoning salt. All right, I got my seasonings in there. So next I'm gonna crack in one egg. I might add two. I think I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, I'm gonna put one more egg in there. Because I think this is like two pounds of uh, meat. So I got two eggs in there and then I'm gonna add milk. Here's my thing, I don't measure a lot. Like, I don't know if I've shared before. I think I might have, like I grew up cooking my dad was a culinary chef so homemade cooking was like something I was just that was like kind of forced on me at a very young age and I don't really remember my dad measuring so I'm gonna add in some milk I want to say that's like maybe one fourth cup you guys kind of see it so I add that in and then I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs you don't got to do anything fancy I just get the Walmart plain breadcrumbs. I don't like to get like the Italian or the seasoned ones. I just do plain breadcrumbs because I put my own seasoning in it. So I feel like if I do like the flavored ones, it kind of just, it's too much. I like to do it this way. So I'm going to add in my breadcrumbs and then the, the, the messiness. I don't put gloves on. I just keep it real. I'm not using gloves. Dig my hands in there. I'm just going to scrub my hands with good soap. <laughs> So I got it mixed up. I don't know if you guys can tell. It kind of looks a little too moist still. So what I'll do, I'll just sprinkle. I don't do a lot. I'm just going to add a little bit. And you guys will hear the kids in the background now since they, they interrupted my solo mom cook night. Um, but that's about what I'm going to add. And then I'm going to add in frozen mixed peppers and onions. It's red peppers, green peppers, and onions. So I'm going to add that in, mix it back up again, and then we can start molding our meatloaf. Yeah. So I do about this much because if I do way too many, then the kids will not eat it. But I'm just gonna mix it all back together. So my potatoes are boiling. Those are cooking up pretty good. They're, I wanna say maybe like two thirds um, boiled through. I'm gonna do this as soon as I put my meatloaf in. I decided to kind of put that in last minute. So now I'm gonna put my meatloaf into here. I'm not gonna spray it in there because you guys know hamburger is naturally greasy on its own. So when I do put it in here, I'm actually gonna put it inside of a pan. So if the grease starts to overflow, it's not going on the bottom of the oven. It's just going on the pan, it kind of catches it. So we're gonna fill this and then pop it in the oven for, I don't know, like 45 minutes I kind of do that and then see where it's at and then we'll go from there. I got the oven on 375.
now that we got our meatloaf in the oven, we're going to get these veggies ready to go in the oven also. So what I'm doing for my roasted veggies, I'm going to be using this seasoning. I love the Italian one. This garlic and herb one is really good too. So I'm going to sprinkle some olive oil on there and then oh. sprinkle and kind of mix this up on top of it and then roast it in the oven. And then once it's done, I'm going to make like a garlic butter mixture to pour over it. It's going to be bomb, you guys. It's going to be so good. So we're going to do that and pop these in the oven. And then our potatoes are almost done so then we can start working on our mashed potatoes. And while I am cooking, you guys, I think Samir wants to help do the dishes because he's been over here playing and attempting to do the dishes. You going to do the dishes for Mama? Hey, are you going to do the dishes for me? <laughs> you can help Mommy do the dishes. Yeah, that's what he's been doing while I'm over here cooking. He's attempting to reach the dishes. Maybe mama will start letting you help do dishes. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how kids pay attention to us because he's literally like mocking when I do dishes. So cute. So when I mixed it up, I didn't pour the whole packet on there because that might be too much since I'm doing the garlic butter sauce on top. So I only did maybe like barely half a packet. So this is how it looks. I think it's a perfect mixture. I did a little oil and I mixed it all up. You're gonna, shh, smear. You're gonna wanna mix your seasoning in with your oil so that way it's cooking evenly throughout while it's roasting your vegetables. So my potatoes are done. I'm going to take these out and strain them and then start making my mashed potatoes. They're ready.